Alright, welcome back everybody. We are back in Fallout 4. I haven't played this in about a week now. Almost. I don't know where I left off. Other than here. So, we will go into Shiaror. Did I want to do that? No, I didn't want to do that. I think this was the next one. So I need to go to the recon team. Report to Paladin and Dance. I guess we'll go ahead and do that one, since he's right here. Dance? How you Are doing? Are you ready to head up to the ship? To the ship? Hell yeah! Of course I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? Hell yeah. We call our ship the Pridwin. Pridwin? She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Woot! A quick war? Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. Yeah, that being said, but, I mean, you're really about to get to know tactics. the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Woot. Did you hear that? I'm going for a ride. You can suck it. No. He almost ran off. Let's talk to this guy. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this yes. our new recruit? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Hey, dog mate, would you change sides or something? Why are you over there with him? Captain Kells? So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under <laughs> his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. That's funny. Looks are deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. I you will. might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Nope. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. Is this Maxon? Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long. Should I stand and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. It's not you fair, they get legs. I don't have legs. Without a hint of purpose or direction. I have arms though. And most impressive. Second. Without question. There we go. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. <sighs> this notion. The notion that a machine Reed. could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. 
itself. Ad victorium. <laughs> Ad victorium. Ad victorium. I don't know so what cool. the protocol is about having Excuse dogs me, Elder like Maxwell. I care about them. So you know. I'll just pretend I the didn't people see of the this. Commonwealth. Yeah, I know you do. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. I'm convinced. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. I don't Therefore, know. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. Hey, and, yeah. befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Sweet. Who needs ranks? <laughs> I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Okay. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Wow, that's some magic right there. Your armor can run through your jacket. Let's go to dance. Let's go have a dance. So how did it look? What's up, Dance? How you doing, man? Paladin Dance. Brother. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? He's impressive. He's delusional. He's dedicated. Yeah, I wouldn't say. Well, yeah, I guess he's kind of impressive. I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I'll try not to let you down. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. I got now, this, bro. I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Uh, yeah, I'll go alone. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Yeah, fatty. There's a wealth of technology just waiting to be discovered out here. Yep. So if I take you, I'll lose dog meat. So I'd rather have the dog. Nothing. Ooh, I'm all that. supposed to report ten minutes ago. Oh, I can loot everything? Can fix Amazing. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm Got it. fat. There it is. I think he's fat too, though. Because I think the last time I shoved enough stuff up his butt, he ain't got no space for anything. Nope. I guess not. Yep, he can't care anymore. Thanks, brother. I owe you. Crap. Hmm. When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. Ah. I was supposed to have an ear. Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Nope. Wrong person. I think you are confused. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Meeting the crew. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Yeah, I could Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. The pleasure's on mine, sir. Let's talk to Proctor Teagan. 
I bet he has some excellent mods for our power armor. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Yes. Sure. Go right ahead. All no right. prostate, though. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. Okay. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? No. There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault <laughs> dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Communicable disease? Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Well, yes, actually. It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease-carrying creatures. Mm. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Makes anyway, uh, this exam is about you, so... Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? Uh, never been sick. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please... Answer honestly. Yes. Have you ever you had sexual being relations bald. with any species considered <laughs> non-human? Well, I did kind of have sex with a ghoul. That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many <laughs> wastelanders answer yes to that question. Ugh. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. <laughs> Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Yeah. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Hmm. Morals question. Yeah, I'll let you defend myself. If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. Uh... If you ever need medical assistance. You let me know. All right, brother. I need medical assistance. Yep. That'll work. Who's next on my to me list? Hmm? Excuse me, Dance. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. Hmm. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Go. Cool. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate. Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Stuck? You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Yeah, All right. Forget that I asked. Appreciate it. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power. Well, I would assume she's missing legs. There's a pretty decent <laughs> T-60 suit sitting in bay three that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Cool. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Okay. I respect you as a person, but you still sound kind of like a bitch. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak is mine. Dibs. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Hmm? I don't get it. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. 
Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Teagan. So the powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Good to know. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. <laughs> when I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Cool. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Hmm, sounds d delightful. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> it just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. Gotcha. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Will do. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Privilege crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Take a look over there. That's okay. Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Mm -hmm. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells Ooh. we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Oh yeah, I know exactly now, what you mean. We have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Hey. I wish I would... No, oh, I did. Okay. Never mind. You're honking your horn at me? Sound like he was honking the horn. Oh, dog meat. Dog meat. Oh, there you are. I didn't want to leave you behind. What are they shooting at me? Idiots. I can't shoot for shit. I should just start shooting at them. Shot at me first. Self defense. That's what I told the. What's his name? Maxim? Yeah, self defense. Ain't that right, dog? Yeah, it is, little. Nah, I'm gonna skip this anyway. Alright, here we go. Acquired. I'll try and keep him in your sight. Keep him in sight. Oh, there's a big guy. It's a little guy. I can't see him. We'll blow that up. No. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, suck it. Suck it. Do that. Um, yeah, just sit down here right in the middle. Idiot. I'm gonna shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. 
I getting out of this thing? Alright, I'll get out. Did she die? Oh no, she doesn't. What? Weapon's cold. Who said that? What is that Don't run into that. I wanna go loot that behemoth. Hopefully he has like 4,000 caps. No. Nine. Why do they have all these weapons? Uh. <laughs> That's a fisting rod. <laughs> Skull? That's cool. Oh, can't get in there. Oh, there's a barrel. That's where I'm getting the rats from. Oh, here's another barrel. There's another barrel. There's barrels are everywhere. So we have to find the stockpile of Fat Man stuff. Fort Strong Armory. Let's kick some ass. Yum. Mm. You hungry, dog meat? I could use this. It's, you know, it's silenced, so. Yeah, make some more noise. Someone there. Nope. Not a one. No more hiding for you. That works. I think they know I'm here now. Danger. High voltage. Go ahead and hide, little blue. Yeah, they know I'm here now. Cause I can stop crouching. Sure I can. Maybe they don't know I'm here. Here, human, human, human. I got a treat for you. <gasps> no blood to spill today. He's got a treat. Man, I really want that treat. Shoot. Carrying too much. Dang it! Eh, throw it back down. So much crap. Um. Hmm. Whatever. Want that camera? Shit. I could offload into one of these desks and then come back later. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Put all that in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. A lot of this is zeros. Let's aid. Just get that away. Put that away. Put that up. Wow, 30? No wonder I can't walk. Five and a half. What's that? That's 26. That's 33. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright. That should be fine for now. 
remember, it's in this desk, okay? It's going to be up to you to remember that. Don't forget it. Technical document. I'll give out to watch his name, maybe. If so, then I just made some caps. And where you ain't a little shit. Oh, wait, I'm hidden again. Awesome. Hopefully I can actually get my rifle silenced one day. One day in the future. Something there. Nope. Nothing's there. You saw nothing. Ah, I'm hearing stuff. Yep, you sure are. Is it Molotovs? Yeah, we're Molotovs. I'm making so much noise. Baseball glove. I don't need that though. I don't have a sun yet. Since I don't have my sun, I can't play baseball. So. Hmm. A noise. Oh, I seen him. Oh, you seen him. I think he saw me though, so. No fight today. Nope. Someone there. Ah! 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 Yeah. Too easy. Ah, I don't want to pick up your stupid board. Crap. What are these things? I don't know. Let's see what's behind door number one. Nothing. Take the whiskey. I'll take the fan. That was another guy. <gasps> Ooh. Don't want the phone. General Brock's terminal. Let's see what you got, Mr. Brock. Bunch of reports. Yep, don't care. Don't care. That and that and that and that and that. Calibrated powerful pistol. Hmm. It is suppressed, so I must take a look at it. 26. What does it use? 38! Holy crap! Got a lot of freaking 38 ammo. So we'll put that on 3. Okay. Oh, that looks cool. I lock it. I lock it a lot. Get out of the way, dog. I've got some more people to kill. Another door. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oh. Didn't know that the first time. Almost. Yes. Oh, it's out here again. <laughs> Figures. So much ammo. I must get all of the ammo. Where's the letter? Where's the not? Oh yeah, the elevator. Alright, dog mate, we're going up. Get in here. Okay. I have to go a little bit to the right. Where'd you go? Oh. You're magic. I like you. Teach me your ways. Clicking noise. You're really weird. I thought I was hearing my mouse lagging. I'm like, what? Does it make any sense? Scalpel. Because it sounds like my, my mouse clicking. It really throw me off. Pack of cigs. Wow, I haven't run into one yet. No green stuff here. Oop. Get away, dog. I need that. I don't see anything else. Let's, let's go in the bathroom. Let's take shit. Come on. I know you got to. You haven't done it in a while. 
Purified water? Yes, please. <laughs> like that has a sign saying purified water. And dirty water. Awesome. You have filing cabinets. Why are you using the toilets? I guess you are super mutants. You are kind of stupid. That must be down there. Someone there? Nope. Nobody at all. You're just hearing things. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Dang it, I didn't want to pick up a stupid ribcage. I already have a ribcage. I don't need another one. Getting hungry. Oh. Would you like some food? I have a fresh... Who's there? I have a fresh dog here. And I would gladly sell to you. For a nominal fee. Ooh, they have a dog too. Huh? What's that? You know, I didn't check to see what the fire rate was. 55? Oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> I was expecting it to be like two. Oh! That was magical. Nice throw. Failure. Where are you at? Gotcha. Gotcha. Peekaboo. I see you. Ah, shit. This dude sucks. Can we throw over a railing? Holy shit! What the hell was that? Okay, mental note. One of them has a missile launcher. Sucks. Oh, are you fu- Take that missile launcher and shove it up your ass. Man. Pop it out again. Dare you. Not a big enough explosion. Nope. Not at all. Not in the least. Well, I guess since I'm done. Team testing terminal. Say that five times fast. Anything special? No. Back out? Don't care. Let's see. I think I looted everything off of there, so. Let's go back to where we were. Let's go this way in case there's another door. I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> Not I don't want to miss you, baby. Don't want to miss a thing. Containers. What's the point of this place down here, anyway? There's nothing down here. Literally nothing. What a waste of distracting, life. aren't you? Holy shit, you scared the f*** out of me. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Eh. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities <laughs> are that. just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, <laughs> and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> I was Look, just singing I don't song. mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. 
What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. Mm -hmm. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Okay. I didn't know you were here. I mean, you literally scared the shit out of me. All these tables. Ooh. Private who the hand? Word came down that the army just unloaded the first batch of the uh, M42s this morning. I've only seen the specs of these little beauties on paper. So Private Bertram and I stopped down to take an early look. When I heard that the eggheads were designing a manned portable nuke launcher, I thought they were nuts. But they actually got the damn thing to work. And after seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me, I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor. I mean, can you imagine the look on the enemy's face when we get dropped into Anchorage carrying these babies? They won't know what hit them. Okay, so I am going to skip this. So I'm sure y'all do not want to watch me walk this slow. I'm not going to leave my stuff. So, see you in the skip. Another one? Sweet. And it's got a full fusion core. Awesome. So, yeah. I decided to, uh... Offload some stuff. Which I did. 385. And I decided to go see what that bunker was before I left. So glad I did. Yay. More power armor. We'll just take enough to get me close. Sweet! I can take everything! Awesome! That'll save me from having to come back and forth. Alright, so we're just gonna go talk with uh Liberating the Commonwealth is a huge responsibility. But we'll mm -hmm. get the job Yep, done. sure will. So we're gonna go talk to him and then call it a day. Call it a night. Call it an evening. Elder Maxon. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Thank you. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. What? Simply throw one to the ground. And the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Amazing. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder. You just say the word. I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. 
The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Hmm. Any suggestions where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to teleport its synths, then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your mysterious lead in the glowing sea could provide us with the answer. Mm -hmm. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Tegan. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Yeah, be willing to take my caps and buy some rat away. Did, now, where did you get that teddy bear from? Did you take this poor teddy man's teddy bear? Teddy man. <laughs> this poor man's teddy bear? I saw you chewing on it, you little Great shit. radio signals keep pinging the array. Gonna try to filter it out. Internal monitoring active. Looks quiet. Yep, looks quiet. Anyway, so, I wanna call it here. We'll meet back up on the next one. So, we'll see you later!